Sometimes a great film tanks at the box office, but that doesn't make it any less great. Today we're presenting some of the most underrated films of 2020 so far. Don't let these future cult classics fly under your radar. Also some mild spoilers ahead, so proceed with caution. Guns Akimbo is a gory black comedy with one hell of a premise. Daniel Radcliffe plays Miles, a mild-mannered geek who finds himself forced into a gladiator match. Did we mention the gun screwed into his hands? Because we meant to. Can you help me? I have guns bolted to my hands. Packed with over-the-top action sequences and juvenile humor, Guns Akimbo certainly doesn't take itself too seriously. If you're looking for mindless entertainment with plenty of action and lots of laughs, Guns Akimbo might just blow you away. Actress Alison Brie, best known for her performance in Community, really gets a chance to show off her acting chops in Horse Girl. It's a film she co-wrote using her own family's history of mental illness as a framework. When we first meet Sarah, played by Brie, the film feels light and funny. She definitely seems a bit socially awkward, and she's strangely fixated on a local horse. I just haven't been sleeping very well. That's too bad. Yeah, I've been having, like, really weird dreams. As the film progresses, things take a decidedly dark turn. We learn that Sarah suffers from wild delusions. She's a passionate student of conspiracy theories, believes she may be a time traveler, and rants about alien abductions. Horse Girl is an empathetic look at mental illness through the lens of a character who feels achingly real. Ordinary Love is an unusually affecting film. The story revolves around Tom and Joan, a couple in their 60s played by Niam Leeson and Leslie Manville. Their lives instantly become more complicated when Joan finds a lump on one of her breasts. What's gonna happen if I've got cancer? <laughs> There's no point in sounding like that. We follow the couple through Joan's treatment and watch as their relationship is put to the ultimate test. It's definitely not an easy watch, but Neeson and Manville both turn in powerhouse performances. The psychological thriller Swallow has a deeply bizarre premise. Haley Bennett plays Hunter, a young woman who recently married into a wealthy family. For some strange reason, she suddenly finds herself obsessed with swallowing inanimate objects. Cut off from the rest of the world in her husband's well-appointed home, Hunter first caves to her odd compulsion by swallowing a marble. As the story progresses, we come to understand more and more about Hunter's strange habit. Swallow can be a difficult film to watch, but it's a bold and powerful movie that's unlike anything you've seen before. Think you've seen enough Nicolas Cage films? Think again. The freaky sci-fi horror film Color Out of Space is one hell of a movie. Based on a 1927 short story by H.P. Lovecraft, the film follows a loving family that's just moved to an idyllic home in Massachusetts. Things start getting interesting when a meteorite crashes nearby. Needless to say, both humans and animals undergo some horrific physical transformations over the course of the film. Cage's over-the-top style is actually perfectly suited to this macabre tale of mayhem and madness. Can you believe me now? I don't know what I believe anymore. If you're looking for a genre exercise that dials the intensity up to 11, you'll definitely want to give this film a shot. Birds of Prey was the first big-budget superhero movie of 2020, but it didn't exactly set the world on fire. Margot Robbie reprises her role from the 2016 film Suicide Squad, once again playing the unpredictable Harley Quinn. Sadly, Birds of Prey failed to rake in the kind of dough that studios expect to make from comic book adaptations. It didn't exactly flop, but it certainly didn't bring in Marvel money either. Wondering what Birds of Prey is about? After splitting up with the Joker, Harley decides to make her own way in the world. Needless to say, things get gritty when the rest of Gotham learns she's no longer protected by the Clown Prince of Crime. Expect lots of explosions. Psychologically speaking, vengeance rarely brings the catharsis we hope for. Yeah. Are we ready? Though it struggled at the box office, Birds of Prey is really quite an action-packed thrill ride. It'd be a shame to miss this one. In VFW, Stephen Lang plays Fred, a Vietnam vet who holds court with his buddies at the rundown VFW hall. Meanwhile, the teens and tweens of Fred's town have been seduced by a deadly new drug called Hype, which transforms users into punk rock mutants. Before long, the assembled veterans are battling the oncoming horde with everything they've got. If you're looking for a self-aware, goofy gore fest, VFW should be just the ticket. Don't be fooled by how the trailer looks. St. Francis is an extremely unconventional comedy. Kelly O'Sullivan plays Bridget, a 34-year-old woman who really doesn't know what she wants to do with her life. She soon hires herself out as a nanny, 
not because of any personal affinity for children, but because she desperately needs work. Soon enough, she becomes the caretaker for young Frances, played by Ramona Edith Williams. The experience forces Bridget to mature and perhaps even teaches her a few things along the way. Sounds like a light comedy, right? Well, the screenplay, which O'Sullivan wrote, bravely tackles some rather sensitive subject matter, with an honesty you rarely see on the big screen. It's definitely worth a look. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.